Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 21 of Undead Unlux. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My eye, oh my god. I still thought that was crazy as <laughs> Okay. Right. Uh, that makes sense. And plus, we really need to know everything what well, that's gonna be a long read though huh true yeah like there's no door what the hell Okay. <laughs> you just look like a little slime. Almost like Kirby in a way, too. Girly in the Grand Canyon. I I'm guessing so. What in the Cowboys? What will we doing? Oh, hot. He was a cowboy. Oh, shit. Let me not. Mm -hmm. 
That might not work here. I mean, because, you know, memories. I mean, damn, we got a jealous type up in here. I mean, just like that. Damn. Okay. Shit. Hold up, jeez. So then there's a possibility he's going to run into what's-his-face. Well, damn! I mean, there, there's nothing wrong seeing you naked, I'm just saying. But, yeah, you always want to be naked. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, he will be, though, eventually. Mm-hmm. What are we going to do? Play roster roulette? Oh, hell nah. No. 
no! Fine. No, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, there is no what if. She trusts him. And yeah. He just dies just like that. What the absolute F? I mean, damn, we just met these characters and boom, dead. Are you kidding me? Damn. Damn, that was a bloody ass mess, but you know what, hey, your girl liked that. It's about to be emotional as fuck, man. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. She's got to know more about you. And that wouldn't be right. Yeah. Huh? 
And plus, she needs to know everything about you, so she's got to stay with you. God almighty, mother effing Jesus. <laughs> Happy girl. <laughs> Well, at least it's just, you know, alcohol getting dumped on them. See, at least she's honest and true to herself about that because, you know, the Fuko in the beginning would still always say accident. And in a way, something did. She met you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she over here acknowledges oh my god oh <laughs> Huh? 
What well, looks like we're going to Washington DC. by oh my freaking god <laughs> no. and then you have to title the episode that P please the persona of three freaking vibes like you can't you can't do this to me you seriously can't do that to me i'm already look I I haven't played P3 in a hot minute. I, I'm still on Igus, meeting her and stuff, and I already know everything of what's going to happen, and I'm not ready to go through that again again. I am not ready to go through that yet again. No. It is depression in a nutshell. I'm not even ready. Ever since the game came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, last month, I'm still not ready to go through that shit again. <laughs> like... No, I'm not ready to be depressed over these characters and everything. But no, I really love the fact that, you know, it, it's like she's, um, astral projection in a way. And it, it, it's super freaking cute because she gets to spend time with him so many, like, years into the past and stuff. And then we get to learn. But damn, I was like, I'm thinking, like, we would have been there in this whole episode in the Wow Wow Freaking West a little bit longer and such, and that we would have gotten to see, like, almost everything. But it sucks that his comrades died, like, oh so freaking quickly. It's something where it's like you had a feeling that that was going to kind of happen because when you look at him as a character in a nutshell, he almost has that you know, that aura of death around him, that no matter around whoever he's around with, someone somewhat dies, up until he's met Fuko. So, you know, that could be different in a way. But still, he there are times where Andy still has that aura. I just, I can't. It's too freaking much. And then, he tried to kiss her again. Oh my God. Like, it's too much. It's too freaking much. And then her literally confessing and saying, I love you to him. But we know it's, it's the emotional impact. Like, our, our Andy, like future Andy, he felt that in a way. But we have <laughs> as Andy having a moment with her and he tries to kiss her. And she's like, no, 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 we can't do anything. And be like, yeah, I like you, but not the you now, the you later in the future. And complicated time travel is a bitch. Oh my god. No, but seriously, no, that was a super sweet, like, god dang, thank you for the fan service too. I mean, yeah, I needed that today. Like, oof. Big oof. Thank you. <laughs> Good way to end my Friday nights. I'm just saying. That's just me. But yeah. yeah. It does make me wonder, especially in this next episode, even with the previews, like, whatever happened on that day in April, some shit about to go down, let's just say that. Something tells me. It, it could be, I don't think it'll be, because he says that's the only, the earliest of his memories that he's remembering. I don't think it'll be, like, death-wise. I think it'll be more of, like, Maybe an encounter or something. But, of course, we have to wait until next Friday to find out. But, well, no one told him. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 21 of Undead Unluck. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every day. <clears throat> Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday or Saturday for episode 22. But, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.